Uh, in April of 1915, I happened to be going up to New York uh, during the Easter vacation. Uh, see some plays and so forth. When the train got to Newark, a newsboy came on with the evening editions of New York newspapers. So I bought an evening post from him. It was in the days when the evening post was quite different from what it afterwards it became. And uh, read in it an editorial paragraph saying it. An interesting report has come from uh, Utah that 17 members of the State University had resigned in protest against the conduct of the administration in dismissing uh, some of the faculty of that institution and demoting one or two others. or a paragraph suggested that it would look like a grave uh, encroachment upon the freedom of American University teachers, but at this distance, it's not to say, it is uh, impossible to judge the merits of the case, but the fact of the case uh, will doubtless be investigated by the newly founded Association of University Professors and we duly, duly, duly communicated to the public in, in time. Well, I, when I read that, I said, it, evidently, it's up to us. We hadn't any real machinery for sending investigating committees uh, to universities, although we had principals, and uh, there was nothing against uh, sending anybody to investigate. But there'd been no definite provisions, as far as I can remember, uh, for that. Well, when I got to New York and had gone to the Harvard Club for, for dinner, and in the room there. I decided to go out and uh, see Professor Dewey, the president of the association, who was in those days living near Columbia University. Because I hadn't brought enough money to New York with me to pay the railroad fare to Salt Lake City and back. So I went out to see Dewey. He was uh, uh, on the point of retiring for the evening, apparently, and then he saw me in the dressing gown. And I told him the situation and showed him the editorial paragraph in the evening post. He said that I was willing to go out to Salt Lake City if he would put up the money. It was at his risk, as we, we both realized. They were, no appropriation for this purpose had been made by the association. Uh, but he agreed to go to his bank the next morning and took out, I think it was $300. He gave it to me, and I set out for Salt Lake City that evening. <coughs> well, on the, on the uh, journey out to Salt Lake City, I composed, uh, I had a, um, I had a letter of introduction to the president from Professor Dewey, who was, of course, nationally known, as I certainly was not. And I carried this letter of introduction to the president of the university from Professor Dewey, who was also nationally known, very nationally known figure. And I also prepared a, an explanation of what the association was. Salt Lake City had never heard of the association before. And uh, my explanation was designed to impress them with the eminence of the, with the importance of the association, with the eminence of the uh, member of its members as scholars and teachers, and with the suggestion that the, the approval of the association of conditions in any institution uh, would affect the possibility of getting really good men to accept positions in the institution.